Hi, you guys. Welcome back to the pod. We're here today and brand new episode. We're here drinking our... What is this? Gia? This is a cute name, Gia. Gia, yeah. Someone recommended it on the pod um, when we talked about how like we don't really drink alcohol anymore. So thank you guys for recommending this. It's actually really good. Yeah. It's my first time trying it, and it's really good. It tastes like a margo. No, doesn't it actually taste like alcohol? Yeah, it does. Yeah. You coming, to, you coming to Texas with us. Yeah, because I had kin before. You guys know I really like kin too. And those, like, they taste a lot like alcohol. And this kind of tastes similar to kin. Because when I saw this one, I, I read that it was lime and salt. And I really like things with lime. Oh, it lime. does taste like lime and salt. So since we love lime, mm-hmm. I was like, these would be perfect for us. I didn't even know these, these were really the ones good. you guys recommended. But honestly, they're really good, huh? Yeah. Like, I'm starting to get such a drunk. Yeah, someone said that these were their favorite these in the comments. Really so I tried Kin, but the sleep one. I never tried the other one. Yeah, the sleep one is for to, like, sleep. The, the other, they have other ones to, like, feel lively. These taste a active. lot like tequila. It does. A lot. Fuck it. I don't know. Yeah, but today, um, do we have any new updates? I mean, this week has been pretty chill um, for me. Yeah. my oh, You just came back from your trip. My solo trip. She just came back from her New York solo trip. I don't think you ever even said it, that no, you were going. I didn't say it on purpose because you see how I have mental? I was like, what if I say it and someone, like, No, that's pretty me. smart. I wouldn't say it either. Because you never until, know. Until, like, shit's done. Shit's done. Shit's done now, so now I can yeah. about it. That's why I didn't say it, because I was like, what if someone actually does live in New York and then they, like, they're a boy and then, and then they want to like, stab me? Well, just like we talked in our other episode, girls are paranoid. I'm paranoid. Girls I'm paranoid. Are paranoid. Oh, the first day I got there, I sent them a long ass message. I was like, someone was following me in Times Square. Like, that. <laughs> but I was telling your mom, I was like, I hate to think that I might have made that up. You think so? So I mean, no. For sure, I didn't make him up. I know for sure he was literally following me. But I felt like maybe he just generally wanted to talk to me, and I was making it really scary because because you're alone. Because when I got there, I went into my hotel. I, like, took a breath, and then I literally started walking the streets of New York. Like, mm-hmm. I just started to see where it took me. Somehow, it took me to Times Square. I, I, but I didn't yeah. even check the maps. Bro. I didn't even know it was going to take me there. Oh. I was like, oh, my God. So, out of nowhere, I was just in a place flooded with people. So, I started getting really overwhelmed. Oh. But after I, I ate, and then I went back to my hotel the next few days I was there, I was so chill. Like, nothing was scaring me. Mm. Like, I had a really good time. And I was thinking to myself, I was like, I feel like now... When I do other things, things are not going to be as scary because mm-hmm. here I'm in, I think going to a new place by yourself where you don't know mm-hmm. people is pretty scary. So yeah. when you come, you do something that's scary, you get a lot of confidence from it. Yeah. And like, I was talking to a friend and they were like, oh, why would you go by yourself? Like, you're like, like that's just weird. Cause I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, like weird to you. Weird. I, Cause you've never done it. You've never thought about it or like no one yeah. around you has done it. It doesn't mean it's weird. And then cause we're girls too. Yeah. And I, I think, well, because this person that you told is a guy, right? Mm-hmm. And because guys always think that you have an ulterior motive. Like, you can't do things by yourself. Like, you must have gone with the guy. Yeah. Like, oh, so a guy didn't take you to your trip and, like, <laughs> flew you out to New York. Like, Dude. that makes more sense in a guy's head than, like, oh, I wanted true. to take a Some solo time. trip. Like, more of, a, like, a meditative Reflective. trip. But, no, you just had to be with the guy, huh? See, like, I told two friends. One said... <laughs> that's weird the other one was like that's cool as fuck like i want to go that was my other guy friend mm-hmm. see there's men are very but because different. that other guy i think knows you more yeah he knows so more as he knows friend. that you would do something like that yeah and yeah. that's like more normal he would even yeah. do something like that because he's yeah. more open to that there's but some it's just not. different types of friends yeah it is <laughs> um but, but you know i feel like i recommend everyone to go somewhere solo because i feel like yeah when you're with other people you can't fully enthrall yourself to your own things like you know how when mm-hmm. you're in the car you can play your music and yeah. do your own things when you're on a trip you have to decide what you're gonna do yeah. and you have to make your own little it- itinerary and no one can really tell you anything yeah and when you're on a trip you kind of be like hey guys what are we gonna do like this? whatever mm-hmm. but aside from the freedom of it you also like had there's a lot of growth yeah for yourself because you're like oh I had dinner by myself, which yeah. something I would never do here because I could just hit someone up. You, I don't know anyone. Yeah. And I could go eat. I wouldn't be forced to do that. Yeah. I had to walk a lot. And then I would notice that when I would talk to people, I was super nice and like I wanted to conversate because you're more, um, what's the word? Intensive? Like you're more... You're more present, I think. You're more present. It's, you're more like, pre- not, it's not precise. You know, like you're mm-hmm. more, that word. 
with your what you say when when you're doing something it's more with intention it's more intentious Mm -hmm. so that's what i thought i was like oh my god like this is good and then Mm -hmm. when i got home i was kind of sad i was like uh what if now i'm gonna be crazy because like i was only doing that but i was like no i mean i could take the emotion with with me here it doesn't mean it's gonna end but i was like i can grow i grew from the situation it's great for me and i was like and that's all i mean there's like nothing much to it but I was like, I can now I can see that things aren't scary. I, you know, I'm a capable woman. Yeah. I can do these things and I can use this emotion to propel me to do other things. That's kind of how what I wanted, because you know how I'd be getting scared. I get scared of a lot of things. Yeah. But then I'm also not, I'm not very, I know I'm not also a not very scary person because I know mm-hmm. some other people would not do that. But I'm also really scared. Like mm-hmm. I get scared of really small things. So yeah. I'm glad that I was able to do that. And hopefully like it'll take away some of my fears yeah i think it will and i think anyone who has opportunity to do something by themselves like completely by themselves Mm -hmm. even if you have a partner have you seen i remember you sent me a tiktok and i think i sent it to you you sent it to me a lesbian couple it was a lesbian couple and she's like i take a solo trip every like once a year and she's like not because i'm mad at my partner just because i really need this time to just be by myself Mm -hmm. like enjoy time with her and i thought that was so cool and like We've also had a friend at the club when we worked at the strip club who told us about her solo trip. And honestly, all these things, I never heard anything negative from someone taking Mm -hmm. a solo trip. So I think it would be smart if you do like just like a recommendation. If you're like, oh, well, every year I'm going to take a trip somewhere by myself. That would be freaking lit. And Mm -hmm. I want to take a solo trip, too. I don't know where yet. I was thinking how wide, but I was like, oh, that's too lame. But then I'm like, whatever, as long as I'm by myself. But wherever you feel like i think connected to it doesn't mean yeah. if it's close far away wherever yeah i did and also i noticed that i was scared to go far like mm. i want to my dream i want to go to italy but that's too far like, to go by myself happen? that's way too far like by myself i need to take like my friends or my mom mm-hmm. someone at least because that's kind of scary for me so i was like hawaii like hawaii is tropical enough US? but it's in the u.s so like it's not that bad but i don't know i'll see i am a little bit scared i but it's weird because i'm not I feel like I'm a person that's by myself a lot. If anything, I kind of got used to, like, I liked being by myself a little too much. And then I noticed that, like, sometimes being with other people would, would be, like, ugh, for me. Like, ugh. Like social. Not, like, with my friends, but, like, when I had to do things around many people, like, mm, I don't know. Because being by yourself, you could really do whatever you want. Mm-hmm. Like, you can think whatever you want. Everything you think is funny. Like, well, because I say a lot of jokes on by myself. And <laughs> I, I just laugh in my hair. I'm like, oh, so hilarious. That to me. I will, I'll be walking. No, this happens to me when I think of something. Or I always have this thing where I'm always farting. Yeah. And I'll fart around people when I start dying. Yeah. This happens to me so many times I in New York. Or where, like, I'll look at someone and then they're, like, uncomfortable and, like, I'm uncomfortable. And then I'm, like, troubles. Yeah. And I just die. Like, I have a lot of really funny yeah. times. I don't know. It's hilarious. It's and you can really, really enjoy your time with you. And, like, no one will get the joke but you. And it's yeah. so freaking hilarious. I love, love that. And I really love, like being in the car by myself and listening to your music that's everything even those things i'm like this is everything like i enjoy like the drive to the gym Mm -hmm. when you're like by yourself and then when you finally get to the gym it's different because you're with people but like the solo ride is everything like Mm -hmm. i don't know but we'll see hopefully i take one soon i'm gonna i think i'm gonna go to like mexico soon but that's what my mom is for medical purposes so it's different but trip it's a trip but it's not really for fun it's like i need to fix something so not cosmetic i'm not getting surgery you guys don't drag me because i said i wasn't gonna get surgery (laughs) but but also if i do get surgery then it's my business that's personal that's personal yeah Yeah. but no it's just like for um (laughs) too personal no yeah it is too personal (laughs) but anyways I was telling her that we should answer some really debated questions right now. Mm-hmm. And I found some really good questions on Google that are the Wait, most. Side note, I'm feeling tips. You are? I, swear to go- I, I swear think you are because you God. said something that. Damn. What? I swear to God. No. It's working? I'm not drinking no more. I swear I'm But you're something. not. You're not. But you are. But I am, though. Like, I kind of. Oh, my God. Let this drink. Oh, huh, there's own. the best. I. These are the These are best. the best. Yeah. Me like greedy like this has to have some shit. Like. No, it doesn't. Isn't that crazy? And I, can, and I can't even get high. So I really need to do find something that I really... The only thing I enjoy is caffeine. Mm-hmm. I don't enjoy anything else in this world. Yeah. 
But yeah, we should take those when we go out. Mm -hmm. That's every. Imagine like we bring out bottle service, but with those. No, you know what we should do? But well, people are, well, whatever, they're not going to know what we do. We should buy a buzz ball and then pour, get the lime one and pour it all out. Yeah. And pour all this no, into it and watch how people act. No, yeah, yeah. Pe <gasps> they'll act They'll act drunk. Wait, I'm going to do that. I'm gonna, yeah. We should get it and then we're going to pour everything in there and then we'll be like, damn, like that shit is crazy. I know, it tastes like tequila. It does. It tastes like a tequila. It tastes like a buzz ball. And the more you take it, the more it tastes. Uh huh. <laughs> That's so funny. Anyways, while we're getting drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I think it's funny because when you're, I always feel like we have young energy, and like when you're small, you're like, I'm getting drunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you remember those gums that were in a cigarette? Yeah. I loved those. <laughs> I love pretending that I was smoking. No, in high school, she would always pretend she was smoking. Um, Smarties. <laughs> you would always do that. I would crush Smarties, <laughs> and then like they would turn crush. into a powder. And then I would blow them out and take a bunch of pictures of myself so it would look like smoke coming out of my mouth. And then I'd be like, hi. But I wasn't fucking high. I was smoking Smarties. Anyways. <laughs> okay. So our first most debated relationship question is. And then let us know your thoughts and what you would answer to these questions. But yeah, let's get started. Okay. So should you accept your partner the way they are? Mm, yeah yeah i mean yeah you should or else get a new one my new that's my new thing or get a new one it's easier to just get so a new you one. shouldn't because if you're gonna get a new one then you shouldn't accept your partner this is like a specific person think about a specific person right now like someone that i like yeah and you know he has some things that you don't like do you should you accept him the way he is if it's one of my top three crushes, perhaps I'll accept him. If it's not one of my top threes, then I'm not accepting because I don't even really like you. So, okay, yeah. think about a, one sp the one specific right now. I have that's any, been on your so mind. I, I have like five. There's not one specific. <laughs> no one feels special. No one feels special. <laughs> well, okay, I'll just think of one. Okay, just think of one. I would just accept him. Yeah? I would I, because I well, see, I'm already sick. I'm sick as fuck. I'm like. Well, he could change, but like, no, that's the whole purpose, right? Yeah. He's not never going. That sucks, though. He's never going to change. Um, or like, he's. I guess if bit. you're accepting them the way they are, that means like, you're accepting that they may not change. <sighs> oh my god, I don't know. See, the sick part of me wants to say like, no, like yes, but the other part of me wants to say no because I feel like I don't want to end up with someone that's avoidant. I feel like this person is avoidant. I feel like a lot of my crushes are avoidant. My main ones. And I feel like if I end up with someone like that, I'm just going to keep repeating my childhood every day. And I don't want to do that in my adult years. Like, I haven't, I've already, already done that, buddy. Mm -hmm. So, um, if I heal poly, I wouldn't even like you. So, no. I would just get so another So, you wouldn't one. accept them? No, I wouldn't because I'm not dealing with that. Like, you're 30 years, whatever, you're old, whatever. Like, get, please seek help. Like, no. Yeah. So, it's, it's draining to deal with people like that. Like, mm -hmm. please get it together. And I don't like when people, like, be, like, doing that. Like, Little shit, be, there's people who be pulling some shit, and I'm like, just you're not gonna do that, or like they pretend like I don't like people that pretend they don't care, even though I'm doing that right now. Mm -hmm. But I don't pretend I don't care all the time. I just mm -hmm. do this sometimes right on the pod, like I'm kidding. You know I don't pretend, yeah. so I can't be with someone who pretends they don't care because I'm just gonna be like super in the whole time. Yeah. So yeah, if that's a problem, then no, I'm not. I'm not fucking with you. I'm just gonna move on <laughs> to the next. I think it depends. Depends what the thing is. Mm -hmm. Like, let's say they. They don't change the toilet paper when it's done. Oh. Like, or they always forget something. They always forget to take their stuff out of the dryer in the laundry. But that's habitual. Okay, things like that. I can accept. I may be able to accept. Mm -hmm. Emotional. Character. Their character flaws. Okay, character flaws? Yeah, character flaws is like your character. Like, okay, you. no. No, like, I'm not. I'm not here to change anyone. Or to accept because, I mean, I could, but I just don't want to. Yeah. And because I don't, I don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to. So I don't I, have to. So and it's hueva as fuck too. Yeah, yeah, that's like get hueva. Get hueva to want to change someone and control them and please don't do, don't stop hurting me. Like please stop. No, I'm not there. I'm not gonna do that. No. I'm not gonna waste my time. That's way too much. Um, if it's something, I will communicate it with them. And if they don't change it in the within the first time I tell them, and this is not to threaten them or anything. I don't like threatening people. But you will it's get one boundary, chance. Yeah, it's a boundary. 
I will communicate it. Let's say they do something that really hurts me emotionally. I'll communicate it. They don't change. You're gone. <laughs> Simple. Because they're probably going to do it again. Yeah, like, they're just, probably going to do it again. And uh, once you accept one thing that you really don't like, you need to know what, like, what your boundaries are. Uh -huh. And once you accept something, like once they cross your boundary and you forgive them for it, oh, to, to, mm, that mm -hmm. I've been there before. They don't change after that. They're like, oh, well, she forgave me stepping over her boundaries. <laughs> I'll do it again and again and again and again. That is so true. please run. I wouldn't. I wouldn't accept the way they are in certain things. Yeah, certain, certain things, things I would, certain things I wouldn't. Depends. And that's a tough question because there's a lot of people that I like their character. A oh lot my of their God, character. I am feeling really oh, tipsy. I told you. I told you. I can't even think. I swear trying. to God. I'm going to look up what's in that shit. Why not? What would that Oh, my God. Okay. Tell Should I answer the next question? Yeah. Okay. Is love overrated? Mm. What, we're not romantic love. I think romantic love is. I think regular love isn't. Yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, love within your family, mm -hmm. with your parents, with your animals. No. Love within each other, with other people, with strangers. No. Super, like, fantasy, romantic movie love. Yes. Like love story, -ish. like the Notebook. I don't know, like yeah, I think it is. I think the right. I think love is everywhere. Like love is mm -hmm. with strangers. Like it's just all over the world. That one isn't overrated. I think love feels humans. Yeah, truly. I think we need love. Yeah, like in the world, in order to be a human, you need to love. Well, I feel like every, that's the so the problem that solves everything. Like yeah, like love whenever solves someone everything. is me, remember Elon Musk said it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, love is everything. Like it is. Love solves everything. Just even showing like your bot your own self love, showing your body love, showing your skin love, and everything you do like Putting we don't even notice on. it. Yeah, showering is showing yourself love. Mm -hmm. Like like doing little tiny things that you don't even realize is showing yourself love. So I think it's not over. That is not overrated. No, fictional love. Yeah. Yes, I'm sorry to say. Some it gets thing. It I think it gets things into people's head. Mm -hmm. Like. That love should be a certain type of way, and it's it's not always gonna be like that. Yeah, that's true. Okay, should married couples have joint or separate bank accounts? I've talked about this so many times. Oh my god! With different people, oh and like god. I always like like to hear what people say about this one. Um, I recently I talked about this with a friend, and oh. they were they told me something. I was like. You didn't agree. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't agree. I didn't agree, but whatever. I think um, it's fine. I I have this problem with my therapist. Not no, oh my god, not a problem with it. We talked about this not drunk because I'm not married, but I told her how I have a lot of problems telling people exactly things. Like, I don't know. Maybe like I would tell you. Maybe like I would tell like my dad. But like maybe like my niece. There's like certain people that I'll tell things, and certain people I cannot tell them because I just do not want to. Mm -hmm. Like. I don't know what me, I I notice that I'm always blaming things on my Zodiac, so I'm trying to not do that. So this, maybe this is just an inner court problem. I don't trust people. I have trust issues. And I always think that people have an ulterior motive. Mm -hmm. And so I was telling her how, like, sometimes I'm like, yeah, like, I really think I need, like, accounting. But I don't, I'm scared people are going to go on my account yeah. and think really dark things. Like, I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, she asked me, so what are you going to do when you get married? Like, you're going to have to, you know, you have to, like, get married with someone mm -hmm. and, like, share that, that, that information. And I was like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I was like, I don't know what to think about it. Mm -hmm. And she was like, well, maybe it's just a fear. She was like, you need to allow yourself to trust people because if you don't, you're going to close yourself off. Mm -hmm. She was like, right now you don't have that problem because you don't need to. Like, you you work by yourself. You don't need to do that. But one day it's going to be a problem. And I was like, yeah, it is a problem for me. And it makes me really nervous. Like, I get mm -hmm. really yeah. So, honestly, I would not want to have joints. Yeah. I don't want, I don't even, honestly, I don't even care. Like, if, if you just be, like, treating me low, like, I don't really care how much bread you have. Like, just don't get into my shit. Like, do not get into my, I don't know, I like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't. I will not have a joint. Maybe yeah. you should let me get onto your, and they're going to drag me for that right now. I don't care. <laughs> I, like, you should let me be on yours. But I do not want to be, I don't, you, you're not going to get into mine. Oh, definitely not. Like, that's, de that's never happening. Under no circumstances. I'd rather be single till I die me with too. my cat. I don't care. No, I kind of think the same way, even though I'm not very, I'm not afraid of like my, well, yeah, intrusive thoughts do come in like, <laughs> damn, what if he like gets into my account, wipes everything out? That's scary. Me. That's why you never put him in in the first place. Yeah, that's why you never put him in. Because you, not to, not because not, not I'm scared, I'm just looking out for myself, me first. But you, you know, know what that I mean? in therapy, they say like, 
in if you want to have a healthy marriage well you have to be able to like just trust but isn't that just hurts <laughs> Physic- it's almost hurting me but, physically yeah you should trust i agree <laughs> But you should also look out for yourself. That's what I think. That's why I'm never doing it. And they should. I'm all. I'm a peep their shit. But y'all not that peeping my shit. And okay, no. This is what I would do. I would. I'm gonna have my own, and that's that. a boundary. Okay. <laughs> that's no, gonna, me too. That's a boundary. I would have my own, a personal one, and I don't have. This is gonna sound bad. I don't have to even share that I have that account. I don't yeah, even have to personal. say that's my personal life. There's some things that you don't have to share with your husband, I think. Yeah. Is that wrong? No, they say that <laughs> and they say that your past you don't have to share either. Yeah. It's true. You don't have to. You don't have to. Some things you don't have to. I'm and already it's getting not- annoyed that they don't share that with me. I'm like, no. Oh no, they have to share. <laughs> <laughs> like you have to tell me everything, but I'm not telling and you. Shit. I'm down to have a joint account. Yeah, I'm down to have a joint account. But, but it's not mine. But I'm not sure if I'll be putting all my finances in that account. Yeah. My finances are going in my account. <laughs> my spare <laughs> finances can go in that account. But why oh. do we need a joint? I'm just, I guess I just think really like the old times. I keep thinking really bad thoughts. Me too. I don't want to say them because you're going to drag me. But honestly, I'm almost thinking like if he makes more money than me, then I should be able to be in that account. Yeah. If I make money, I'm not letting you in that account. I don't know why. I just no, don't yeah. No, to. you. Th- okay. You guys want to know my real, what I really <laughs> would want? I have my own account and I'm just in his account. Yeah, that's perfect. That's a perfect. Like, okay, that's my dream though. I don't know if that's reality, but that would be my dream. Yeah, that would be my dream too. That would be everything. But you like, know who had that? Who? My mom. <laughs> with everyone she's. T- so with her <laughs> ex husband. That is true. With my dad. And she was like, pues, yo no les pregun-. she said she wouldn't even ask them that. They just did it. Oh, period. So, <laughs> so it's our dream is a possibility. Your mom. When was your? <laughs> you, I, don't know. I think I'm that's why we Libra think though. that. Oh, that it's okay. Yeah, because okay. if we look at our parents, <laughs> you know, true. yeah, like true. your dad. That is true. Like he be paying and shit. So. He do be paying and shit. So like, but you know what? I've never like. Yes, I'm like gold digging ish. Like that's not so <laughs> bad. But not that I'm like that. But like. Not, I just want someone that can stand on their own two feet. That's all yeah. I ask for, which is basic necessity. Mm-hmm. But I don't think I'm out here trying to ask for anything. I think I was talking to this to a friend. Like, you'll never attract a guy. Or was it? I don't know if it was on the pod. Maybe I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like, if you don't, if you don't at a certain mm-hmm. level, you're never gonna attract anyone like bigger than that. Mm-hmm. I mean, you could if the world just sends you. But trust, like, if you don't have like a certain tax bracket your tax bracket isn't going to get that much bigger. And the only thing that men will do is they want you to be with them from the get-go. They don't have anything and then stay with them. Mm -hmm. And then maybe they'll cheat on you later. Like, it's such a horrible thing to be. I just sent you a video on TikTok. You should watch it. Do you see, like, it's like the, all the women and then all the men. Did you see that? No, no, no. no. Where it's like a super rich woman, a super rich man, medium, like Mm -hmm. lower, lower, like poor woman, poor man. So it says that like the woman only has one option either the man that makes the same as her or more Mm. so a rich woman doesn't want a man that makes less Mm. she wants a man that makes the same or or more more. the women who have less money they want they have more options on this side Uh because they're down for the guy that makes medium money because he makes more money than her but the men they say they don't think like that they don't care they go with whatever <laughs> like even if it's the, like the rich man can go with the poor woman he doesn't care so i think true. for women who have money it's a bit different you know what i mean mm-hmm. because like for like successful women i don't know how they handle their things okay so like someone who i see for an example like sol leon mm. she is a millionaire herself i know she can stand on her own two feet right mm-hmm. but she has a man who like still gives her have you seen the videos where he like hands her ten thousand dollars like just to like go shop or something like that whatever's going on there i'm like i I I need that that. (laughs) well like jada and little baby jada yeah she's a millionaire by herself yeah she's a millionaire by herself and there is occasions where guys will come and change your life but what i don't like to save in that because i don't like girls or women to live on the fact that a man is going to come and change your life because mm-hmm. when you rely on a man financially, he can control every aspect mm-hmm. of your life because financial is very, I mean, it's not super important, but if you have children with this man, if you've given up your career, 
and he just leaves you, then it's very important. And it's very mm-hmm. worrisome, actually. And you know, I think I'm, you know, like my, I grew up with my dad. My dad would always tell me like, no, si no tienes dinero para que no salir. Like mm-hmm. he would always like, yeah. put, like great, like really weird things into my head. He'd be like, pues sí, pero tienes dinero? Like, do you have money? Like, are you no, going to go? Yeah. Like, so he always taught me like, you have to have your own thing. Yeah. Like, even if you're a girl, you have to have your own things. Yeah. And, and that's so people don't like, take advantage of you because, especially men like yeah they, if a rich man comes in you don't have anything he changes and your life. he changes your life now you're yeah that's great but what happens if he decides hey i don't this isn't working out for me anymore i don't love you no more like you're not gonna have a shit no more and yeah. my mom has always taught me that too like yes get a man who can give you a lot but have your own things always don't forget about yourself because mm-hmm. at the end of the day that's all you have and I think it's true and not to be like pessimistic aprovechada or anything like that, but it's like it's true. You know, as a woman, like our time is very valuable, I believe. And our youth. Our youth is very valuable. So we need to really like get take it advantage and get shit done. Especially as Mexican women. I yeah. think because we're used to being in the cast. I've seen multiple occasions with family members, people that I know where their life goes to shit because they spent their time mm-hmm. taking care of kids and just like they give up their careers. And I mean, that's beautiful mm-hmm. if that's what they want to do. But then you see them later on and they're sad and they're depressed. But it's like, that's what you chose to do. Mm-hmm. And I mean, that sucks. I feel really bad. But like, you can't do that for that. Because no, I feel like I had the choice to do that mm-hmm. in my early childhood. Mm-hmm. I always talk about this i had a man's mm-hmm. and he wanted to be with me forever and i was like oh my god oh my god but i was like if i choose to do this now i'm gonna regret it later mm-hmm. i'm a very person who i don't like to regret shit like at all when mm-hmm. i die on my deathbed i want to be like i did it all mm-hmm. i don't have regrets mm-hmm. and i was like if i go and i become a wife and i have do all these things I'll be really depressed because yeah. i'm a very like free person i didn't come in this world to have limitations especially I'm like, I'm going to have to supply on what he yeah. gives me, do what, and I, I'm, I think my mind is just a really big place, mm-hmm. and I don't think I could conform to that in that moment. Maybe later on, I can conform to someone in marriage, yeah. but not at that time. I was way too small, Yeah. and I think this person really got really upset because that that's what they wanted, but yeah. I'm like, yeah, because you're a boy, and yeah. you get to chase your dreams and do what you want to do. And because you were risking your youth there, like, mm-hmm. you could have spent all your youth, your, your great 20s in that relationship, which... That if true. that was your choice, you, that would have been fine. Too, I would have respected that. I also <laughs> did tell her you shouldn't do that, but whatever. No, but you thought I was actually gonna leave her mm, for a second, for like one second. I was like, no, she's not. I was like, no. If like God, please get into her mind right now and make her make the right choice, please. Like sometimes I'm not gonna lie. Like I have when I notice that she's in a really tough spot with like a man. I don't like telling her nothing because I only I do tell God though. I'm like mm. God. Just please put the right answer in her head. He always does. He always comes through. He, come through. he, come he through. comes through and he puts what she needs to do in her head. I've done this for her many times. So me and God have works. talked and be like, yeah, she, she'll do the right thing. Like, we know. So, like, from, I don't know. And also, oh, what I was getting to, though, that you were going to risk your youth. Him, like men, mm-hmm. they could be 60, 50, 40, whatever. They got bills. They gonna get they gonna get girls. They gonna get bitches. They and gonna they get can bitches. And they can impregnate people. So many. They can still impregnate people. That's they can, gross, can, uh, dude. That's gross. Fifty year old can still impregnate a twenty five year old. Like it can happen, and a twenty five year old will be with a fifty year old. He got bills. That is she, true. Will. she will. So see how they have more of that advantage and like more time. Not that it's in a like because I don't want to because like a lot of people want to instill fear on women and be like once you get old. Like it's done for you, Which but not no, true. ladies, don't don't get that in your head. Like, age, nothing. Like, don't think about that. Don't fear of getting old. Getting old is amazing, and we are still just as powerful. Okay, don't think that you're any less because you're getting older. But don't waste your time either. But don't waste your time either because our time is very valuable, mm-hmm. more valuable than the men's. I'm sorry to say. It. The eggs. I mean, our eggs. Just to say yeah. that we don't, women only have a limited amount of eggs, and men have endless sperm. Like, come mm-hmm. on, sprinkle, sprinkle. That's gross. I've always been grossed out that they have endless sperm. Like, ew, when does it end? Like, when does it end? But they said that's why women, why I don't, when guys are like, you guys are gold diggers, like all you guys care about. Isn't that what we were meant to care about since the get-go? Like, you guys have endless sperm. We don't have mm-hmm. that many eggs. We should think about who we're going to put our eggs yeah. in. Like, it's- so, 
not to cut you off that gets yeah. into another question that's oh. actually not in the in the in the thing but i want to ask this real oh. quick before we get into other shit what is it? would you sign a prenup okay <gasps> let's say i'm gonna put a little thing for you your husband is a multi-millionaire like he makes way more money than you you're a millionaire too on your he's own two feet but he's like he's hundreds of millions you're double millions right now you're you're like 20 mil he's like 300 mil how old am i though you're you're 28 you're 29 he's so like, 34 like kind of like the age to get married -ish. yeah you're like about to be 30 um i have kids already or no mm -hmm. i do with him mm -hmm. oh then i'm not signing that shit the fuck no <laughs> no way no that's i'm thinking about my kids i don't give a fuck and actually, I would never have kids with but a man. But he, he's he like, I'll still give, like, if we divorce, like, I'll still give you no, child support. No, buddy. Everything's on paper. I need that shit on paper. I need that. I need an auditor right here. So right you now. wouldn't sign it? No. Like, I, you need to give me something. <laughs> you have to. Like, I'm, I actually don't even want to be with you. And you're grossing me out when I'm leaving. <laughs> That's what I, 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 especially if I have kids, because I'm thinking about my children. But you already have your 20 mil. Like, yeah, you'll be good. But I'm not going to waste my time with you just for the fuck of it. And then you go run off with some youngin. No, I've already seen that too many times. <laughs> there's some men who won't do that to you. I, there, I know there's men who won't do that to you, but you just never know. You never mm -hmm. know. Men change their mind all the time. You just never know that. So That is but, true. Like, my dad, my dad would pay my mom's rent deep into their relationship after she cheated on him after she got with other people but that's my dad that's not that many people like that and i, and I know that so that i'm not risking but see support. those are the men who really love women yeah. <laughs> those are the men that's that's what i'm hoping i get one day <laughs> but i know there's not a lot of them so i'm not risking my future at the fork i'm not doing that i'm not doing that, oh, that is true. and there's some men who you'll meet them and then they'll be like I will never. Da, da, da. And when the right woman yeah. comes, they will do what you say. Trust. Yeah. Trust. They just love saying shit. I have a theory. They just love saying shit. Yeah. Because I would give like the man that he wanted me to stay with him forever to do mm -hmm. a bunch of shit, and he was cool as fuck. And he, I feel like I could have gone here to do way more things for me. But I'm not gonna live with you though. That like that's not happening. Yeah. And see, he got mad. He ran off with someone else. Now she gonna have to sign that prenup or whatever the fuck. I'm not doing it. That is true. But okay. Yeah, remember when a guy at the strip club was telling me, oh, I, I, I want to get married, but I want my wife to sign the prenup. Oh, remember the white guy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's like about to get, ooh, ladies. This he is was why going I, off. He was way. going off. Like, he his his wedding was like in a couple of days, huh? He was celebrating yeah. in Vegas or something like that. And he was about to get married, and he was like complaining to us about how he does want to get married, <laughs> but like he really <laughs> wants his wife to sign a prenup. And like, what do we think about that? And we were like, um no obviously we were <laughs> and then he was kind of like at the end he was like okay like i'll think about it yeah we were telling him that no they shouldn't have a prenup what the heck yeah well one of my exes he told me he was gonna get married with one of his older like other girlfriends and i was like and why didn't you and this person mind you doesn't have papers so it was in his convenience to get married oh my god ew i'm just thinking about it making me want to throw up he was like yeah like we were gonna get married i was gonna fix my papers and i had already bought her the ring he's like also bought her a rolex like he went off on whatever the fuck mm -hmm. he bought her and i was like oh lit like that's chilling and i was like so why didn't you guys get married he's like because she didn't want to sign the prenup and i'm like so you would rather not get papers you already bought her a rolex because i think that they think that everything is going to be taken away from you when you get <laughs> that's not what happens they just have to give half of it. You have to give some up. And if you're yeah. rich, then who cares? <laughs> <laughs> give me some over here. Don't oh. be stingy with it. No, Don't be stingy you know what? Okay, I understand why I, I'm trying to put my mind, my head in a man's mind. And I'd be like, damn, if y'all took shit have a maj, I'd be mad. So I understand yeah, I get where it. you guys are coming from. I wouldn't want to give a pass. But, but mind you this, if he's not willing to do something you want him to do and it's coming from a stingy place, trust he's gonna be stingy with other shit and mm -hmm. he's gonna be stingy with your kids and he with wasn't the kids. one that had to carry a child for nine months and mm -hmm. do a bunch of other things okay as women we go through a lot we get cramps every single month like that is true. you need to pay for that because you know what just because i feel pain i should get half yeah just because i feel i bleed every single month for and especially this person that i'm talking about who Imagine he wants it. I don't care. He doesn't have papers. Like, people pay to get papers. And you're over here asking for, oh, my God. And I think he wanted me to do that. I'm like, you must be out your fucking mind if you think I'm going to do that shit. I'm not doing it. Well, people pay. Like, yeah. people pay many 
big bucks. He was ranting about how he, she still had the Rolex. I'm like, buddy, just give it up. Like, just like, bye, bye, pish posh, pish posh. Like, I think he wanted, he bought her all those things. So she would be like, oh, I don't need the prenup because I already have all these things. And when did it happen? Y'all broke up. He, you, like, he didn't give you shit. He got with some other girl. And we're like, she goes, yeah. go. you, the only thing you keep is a little perfume is a bag he, they buy you. Like, you don't really keep shit. And you, mm-hmm. and then you just get, like, they pee on you. That's what her mom always tells us they just pee on you and <laughs> that's why when i think about it that way i start to hate man i don't want to hate them i don't i love them but as soon as i get so annoyed i'm like you guys just really need to get it together because like i'm like my dad's not like that so i'm like why are you guys sick like that i don't understand yeah my dad is a re- okay my dad is the cheapest man in the my dad should be on like world's cheapest he's very cheap 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 what they man. like you you like he like yeah like he'll do certain things to like save money but with my mom he wasn't like that he would give her everything like his check would come in and he would give it to her oh but God. he would he's not like that with like himself. with himself yeah he saves his money and like he he's a yeah it's kind of an issue i think we've fought about it before now it's not an issue because like i make my own money and like i'm down to pay for his things or whatever but he does not want to spend a dime and that was a big issue with us and uh, it would really bother me like why is my dad like this right whatever i get it like sometimes it comes from like deep roots like maybe like their parents were like that Mm -hmm. i don't know i don't don't know know what's up with that i'm gonna question him on it yeah okay next question is sex really that important Mm, yeah i think so yeah because you can get cringed we've talked about this before i've gotten cringed with people and i'm like ew i'm never talking what do you mean I don't know, just things they do during sex. I'm like, ew. You get really cringe. But I think what they mean is like having sex in your relationship. Is oh, it important? I was thinking like if it's bad. It's equally I, I guess important. both. Oh, yeah. Both is important, huh? Because I always, I see I'm sick. I have really bad thoughts. No one judge me. Okay, you guys can't forget to judge me. I, don't care. I always think like if I don't be fucking them, they're going to be fucking someone else. But that's mm-hmm. also sick of me. I but you know what think I always that. think too? If I give them too much... They gonna he gonna get tired of it. No, you don't think that. <laughs> no, <laughs> you don't think that. I thought that you meant like if I give him too much, he always gonna be wanting sticking his dick somewhere, and when I'm not there, shit's gonna go to shit. That's what I think. Oh, <laughs> but, but okay. I've only thought that he gonna get tired of it because, but not because I like I, I used to not have that fear. But like at the strip club, what would guys say? Ay, frijoles todos los días, mija. Mm. No, when they were talking about the same nalgas, uno se cansa de las mismas nalgas. Exactly. Oh, what, what, like, you think that your man is gonna be not cansarse las mismas nalgas? I always think that you think I think my man's not gonna cansarse las mismas nalgas just because my nalgas I work them out, but it doesn't mean anything. Uh, what, age what if you want I some feel, different nalgas? I think I think just being with someone for the, a long time like can get boring for sure. That but you, you can know, like spice it up. So you, know? you if you give them a lot of your nalgas, they're gonna be like Damn, nalgas again. No, but you know what I've concluded with people that cheat? <laughs> like, because I've also, like, been in a situation where I want to cheat on someone. Swear to, swear to my mom, yeah. But it's because I don't want to be with you. Yeah. I really think that people who really want to be with you won't cheat on you. Okay, true, but... Or they're insecure about the relationship. Y'all need to fix them. But I feel like I've kind of cheated, and I really, really, really... Love the person. Liked them. Me too. Me too. And I still think about them. Oh, yeah. Me too, to this day. But, I mean, I still cheat on you because... And am I with you? Because no. subco- truly, you didn't want to. Because huh? subconsciously, I don't want to be with you. Or, yeah, like, true. So, that's why... I, if I really want to be with you, why the fuck would I go do that? I would not. I'm very loyal if I do want to be with you. If that I, is true. That is true. And also, like, I think that if a man is going to cheat on you, he's going to cheat on you. Like, there's nothing you can do. You can go quit your nag. I don't know. Whatever the fuck. He's still going to do it. Yeah, that is true. And a woman that's busy, keep busy. If you keep busy... You really don't even have time to be thinking about him. If you're mm-hmm. and he's gonna be men like women, I think that are busy. If you're always available nagging, like no, 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 be busy. Be like I'm really busy right now. Yeah, like, I can't even think about what you're doing. Right now. Yeah, and I feel like that fixes a lot of issues. Do your own things, solo travel. Mm-hmm. Do your own. Make him wonder like what she's up to, and then come back and like share time together. Like it's not all about everything together. Cause I feel like that gets boring. No, yeah, being I with your oh, no. bae like. Whoa! I like time. long distance relationships for the same reason. Like I want them far away from me. In my daily life, I don't know. I want to see you at all. Like I <laughs> want to see you like maybe one day out of the week. 
not every day. So I think when yeah. I actually live with someone, it's going to be, which I have. I've lived with a partner, and it was mm. actually really hard for me. Luckily, they would leave because I really like to be alone. I know. Especially in the morning. I hate being with men in the morning. It grosses me out. It grosses me out. Yeah. I hate them. Anything they do I'm in the thinking, morning. I'm thinking, though, it's because right now, because we're young. I think that'll change when we're older. Oh, yeah. I think because you're going to have to wake up with your husband every yeah. morning. You're going to have to. <laughs> <laughs> or you're like, ew. <laughs> Well, I'm going to wake up earlier. Whatever time they wake up, I will look up what time they wake up, and I will wake up purposely earlier and leave. And leave. <laughs> I'm like, fuck all that. No, no, no. And that's what I think I would do. No, or they would leave without me. No, actually, no. When I really like someone, I can spend time with them. Yeah. But then I want to leave. Like, I'm going to spend a couple minutes with you, and then I'm going to leave. Like, yeah. I'll drink coffee with you, and I'm leaving. I think that's yeah. what I would do. I'm not spending all morning with you, especially my mornings are a very sacred time for me. Yeah. And I get energized in the morning with this one, so I'm not, not spending the time with you. I kick people out in the day, in the, in the morning. You've seen me kick people out. I get cringe in the mornings, too. Like, any people, like, that we invite to, like, a party and, like, <sighs> some... Oh, my have- God. We have a horror story. Oh. Remember that guy who didn't leave? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my... I forgot God, about that. That's a fucking horror story. Anyone <laughs> think about that? We literally, I, okay, whatever. Oh. I'll say it for the pod. I had, I was like not talking to this guy. It was like a, a thing. A one moment thing. It was a one moment thing. And he stayed over the night. And in the morning, I was like, get out. <laughs> because first of all, we got shit to do. First of all, what I did yesterday was not me. Like, that was on me. Oh, you gotta go. Like, <laughs> and you reminded me of yesterday. Leave. <laughs> like, leave, leave, leave. Second of all, I wanna talk about you to my friends. <laughs> so leave. Like, what the heck? People who don't get the hint, huh? And he didn't get the hint. And we were all saying, like, oh, we're gonna go to Disney. Like, we were just saying a bunch of things because we were like, we're gonna dip. And I wanted him to leave. Oh so, my, oh my God. I was getting so cringe. So I get in the shower. And I'm like, I don't tell him I'm going in the shower because I'm like, <laughs> leave. Like, literally. Leave. So I get in the shower and I text y'all while I'm in the shower. I'm like, make him leave. By the time I'm in the shower, like, I want him to be gone. <laughs> and then and then who ended up telling him? I think um, Alyssa, no? Alyssa ended up, what did he say? No, no, your friend. Your friend, Annie. Annie. Oh. Was like, hey, babe, like, you need to go. <laughs> oh, my God. No. It was so cringe. It was so cringe. No, I'm thinking that we had gone in Maddie's girls for my birthday and no one ate shit. Wait, no one ate I remember shit. This. Because we were all drunk by the time we were going to eat. So no one ate. And it was like platters of Maddie's girls. And I was like, do you want to take them? I need to take the food. He took them. And then our other friends, like our guy friends, were like, we saw him walking in with the food. Like, why was he still there? And I was like, I don't know. I was like, I don't know. Ew. Girl, that was funny. Girl, that was funny. Honestly, Honestly, whatever. Memories. That's like for the... I'm glad I got to say this somewhere because... Oh, my God. That was a horror story. Like, I was like, please <laughs> go away. She started helping cleaning up. I don't care, buddy. <laughs> leave. <laughs> like, go home. Ew. 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 Like, those people want to get wiped? No one cares. Yeah. No one cares. Like, he started cleaning in the morning? I'm sorry. You ain't getting wiped. You're not getting wiped. You gotta go. <laughs> you gotta go. Well, oh my God. I kicked out people that I really like. And I've, mostly, I kick out people that I don't like. But I've kicked out people I like, too. Mm-hmm. You know this. And I'm really rude. I don't know why. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, I had to. Sometimes I'm not in the mental state. Or I always share my heart. My heart, I always have cushion like five different people. Mm-hmm. So that way, it's the truth. And Me too. I can only really like one. Like, yes, I have five cushions, but I only really like one. Mm-hmm. And if one of them is acting up, I can't give y'all the love. Yeah. Because I got to get right with my main. Yeah. And then that'll change. So, yep. Shit. If I'm not in my, in my, in my mind, I'll kick everyone out. Yeah. That's happened to me so many times. That's why why do you, I can't really be open on OnlyFans like that. Like, I can't be having people on OnlyFans because I can't even have sex with people. I get grossed out. Me too. I've tried to do it. We've talked about this. I'll try to be, like, on some one of the plug I cannot do it. I get grossed out. Mm-hmm. Anything that men do grosses me out. Like, especially in the morning. Get the <laughs> fuck out. And especially when you have your own house, right? Like, this yeah. is my house that I pay rent in and everything oh is mine. Oh, my God. Yeah, especially, like, in the that situation where, like, you had gotten the Ruby. I mean... 
like <laughs> I guess I didn't, but still, like, like this is my. Room. I was like, this, like the homegirls are like, you gotta go, like you gotta go, like at least okay. If you want to stay, bring all the girls coffee or something, like do something. That's what her mom and yeah, they have always told like a man who really likes you. Bring us breakfast. Traiga que traiga un desayuno. Girl. Que traiga un desayuno, algo. Una pizza, something. Something because no, it's, that's what the men in the old times would do. They would bring fam- food for your family. Yeah. Like, y'all be providing nothing but company and cock. See, see. Yeah. They provide company and cock. I, I do not need that. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here with all that shit. Well, no. Oh, well, my God. How much time do we have? Uh, 15 minutes. Oh, okay. We should talk. Wait, this kind of goes into, like, when you had your breakup, you were saying that your man, you were you were thinking your man was com- company and cock. Who? Which one? Your your man's. My man? When we were at the house. Cause we, when we lived together. In the oh. Yeah, he was company and but you were okay because super <laughs> I didn't even see it that much at the, at the end. And but you, you see how I, I, this is, oh my God. Well, okay. So I was worrying, reading about Aquarius moons because I have an Aquarius moon and they were saying how we have really huge mood swings. And I, oh, that is so true. One second, mm-hmm. like you see me like this and the next second I'll be like, and I don't, can't tell you why I do that, but it's, it's weird. Some, like, so I have like things Switch. going on in my head, switches going on in my head because I think about a lot of things. So. It, it's ne- never personal it's just like i start thinking about a certain situation and i kind of switch and and i'm also very i analyze everything so i notice what people are doing and what i hated about him when he like he wouldn't contribute and he would be there like okay would you say he lived there no you always think he lived there but he wouldn't live he would just spend a lot of time there because you guys were dating she wouldn't live oh, there. Basically living. No, and then everyone was trying to get me to convince her to break up with him. And I was like, I don't really like mother. Her aunt would come and talk to me and be like, you need to get her out of here. I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Like, take her to Jamaica? Like, she's still going to fuck with him in Jamaica. Like, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> no, yeah. But but I felt like he was living because he was so, like, he was in my space. So well, honestly, I thought he was being fucking annoying. How? <laughs> just being fucking annoying. I mean, your boy hates me. Oh my god. I'm, I don't hate. No, I don't hate you. I was gonna say that I don't, but I do. Like he would just bug when him. Remember when he would like knock on the door? Which one? On your window. I don't know. You would tell me all these stories. I'm like, this is ain't your home. Like the yeah, is like. Oh yeah. Okay. No. What would gross me out is that he would get excited over like him having things in my house, like him having some of his personal items in my house. Oh, like a girl. Like a yeah. Because girls do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, I'm supposed to get excited for having personal things in your house. You're not supposed to get excited for having personal things in my house. This is my house. I pay for the rent here, buddy. Like, you. that's why girls in power are scary. <laughs> because once you start getting money, and at this time I was stripping, so, like, I felt like I had bread. Like, I'm like, for I got age, bread. For the age, we had a decent amount of money. Yeah. No, we're not like we had money, but for the age. Yeah, for our age, like, in that time, I felt like, damn, I got I I got bread like I got bread like no one can stop me I felt really powerful and so I felt like the boss and I was like the fact that you're getting excited over your things and and I feel like also stripping made me really masculine energy you know do you Mm -hmm. feel that like I feel like oh like I would get annoyed by anything he did like anything he did would frustrate me having sex in my own house would frustrate me having sex on my bed would make me angry like why are you here Mm. laid up in my bed that I paid for company and cop that my cousin from mexico built for me you didn't do shit and now you're just giving cc cc i ain't trying to have that though like it would gross me out like get out of here buddy because i think also well we've always we talked about this like people who dance like you're all night working and doing all this shit like it's basically like trapping and then like i've noticed that the only way that people are successful with marriage when you're a stripper if i'm wrong then i'm wrong i don't know maybe i could be wrong is if you date a man that's under you, that's the only man that will mm-hmm. ever accept you being a stripper. Mm-hmm. Get a man with that makes more money than you, and he's not gonna allow you to be a stripper. Mm-hmm. He's like, no, 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 he'll keep bugging you. If a man it doesn't allow you to be a stripper and he doesn't have money, I don't know what you're doing because what the fuck? Like, trust. If you get one that doesn't have money, he's gonna let you because yeah, what the fuck are you doing? You know. And everyone knows if you are a woman who has more money than a man, you'll know that this is what's gonna happen. Yeah. And when you're a girl, and you have money, things just don't slide for you. No. Like. Things will slide for you for a little bit, but you can't do a lot of CC shit, company and cock shit. Because this is my crib. I worked for it. I don't, like, I do things. So if you're going to come mm-hmm. in my house, 
you need me to be doing some shit that I can't do. What can you do for me that I can't do? Because yeah. I clearly done a lot. Yeah. And I and I feel like once I started being like that, I mean, yeah, I did it a lot of really horrible people, but I never feel like we had company and cock situations. Like, yeah, they mm-hmm. were company and cock, but they at least would like they weren't people that made less, you know, like yeah. they were people that were equivalent. And that's Yeah. After him, I only started fucking with people that were above Mm-hmm. me because i was like i can't have that i felt so cringe you start getting too masculine and then you yeah. get disgusted by them yeah and it sounds so bad and then you start but... treating them really bad i will start treating him really bad like a little like like what like what i make more money than you what are you gonna tell me you're in my house like you use my things you eat my groceries like get out of here you get don't out respect of here. them and that's why he got cheated on <laughs> no but th- no i'm sorry <laughs> okay <laughs> we were never together no yeah it was never serious but what she means is that like she actually didn't really want to be with him so i she had to cheat on him no she cheated on him maybe because she didn't even he was doing company and cock like, but he always want to know why i did certain things well there you go because you ain't doing shit so but, you know we always talk about this that's beautiful that you did that for him now yeah. you should go out into the world yeah and provide mm-hmm. POV. And, yeah and he should and I think I really helped him. Because now I notice that he's trying to do a lot of shit. He should thank you. Um, buddy, that was all me. <laughs> that was all me. All your shit now is all me. Have you ever heard You're this, welcome. the song You're by welcome. Future where he's like, God, thank you. Because you made me hustle. Yeah, you should yeah. thank me. You should. Yeah, I think I, I think I that my ex is always in the fucking gym. He's is i mean he always would go to the gym like we would like go together but i noticed that like after we broke up we like hella got dragged i'm like he thinks that i left you because you you ain't got body that wasn't why you got left <laughs> just letting you know now you got left because you were cc too he was cc i mean come on you were cc and that's why you got left but and that's why you got <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you got done but anyways that's aside from the point like men if you are going through a woman and she's very like successful like the, the only thing you can do for her is to build your success like that's the only thing and us girls that have money like the only thing we can do for ourselves is date a man that already is in a good position mm-hmm. i'm not dating anyone have to build up i don't have that type, no. type of time don't be dating knowing you have to build up please no and you know what sometimes i do look back i'm like damn if i would have stayed in that because now buddy's doing good like buddy <laughs> got money supposedly buddy like got like shit on like from, from what we be peeping from what i be peeping like but he got jerk. He he's flexing nowadays. He's like flexing that's what he wants to do. And sometimes, yeah, you you know what I do think. Like I'm not if I was with him, I could have that could have been me too. But no, honestly, it would have been it would have wouldn't have been me because he wouldn't have been motivated. Because he wouldn't have been motivated and done his things. I'm just glad that he we got to leave each other and he mm-hmm. did his things. That's better. That's good good for you, because yeah. And the things that he be doing, I already got like year, <laughs> months ago. So like I swear to God, it's not to be mean. It's just you're, like you're basically sometimes, late. I, the things that I see him post about and like flex on, like oh, I already kind of been did that. So like I'm glad that we separated because like if not, I wouldn't have done the things that I needed to do. Mm-hmm. And that's good. Like good for you, good for me. Exactly. Good for you, good for me. Yeah. Exactly. I always think that too. I'm like, damn. Like because I always over like I feel like no one ever really fuck with me. Like no one really fuck with me. Like my first egg. No one fuck with mm-hmm. me. But I'm like, ugh, whatever though. I'm like if he if I would have stayed with him and like whatever i would never have done shit yeah i, I would have gone a gusto and i would never have done shit yeah so you know what sometimes you gotta separate people and it's just better to date people when you're both like up yeah think. okay last question before we have to end it um should you always put your family first <gasps> so like your marriage or your family oh marriage family oh yeah you should well i'm just thinking of like a, a annoying man but maybe he's a good man i don't know <laughs> I think um, I ooh, that's a tough one. Depends. Like he's like, like what is he doing? Like he's talking shit or what? No, no, no. Like, like who do you prioritize first? Your dad or your husband? My dad. <laughs> but that's because I love my dad. Like it, it just sounds so hard. But mine would be like my mom, my husband. I'm like damn, maybe hub. But even you know what? Even though I have a bad relationship with my mom, I might still choose my mother. Okay. Like let's put people together. Like your niece, your mom, your sister, and your dad, your husband, and my family. Because that's a lot of people. You're only one. <laughs> I mean, numbers. Mm-hmm. I think my family, because my family has to fuck with me. I mean, they don't have to. That sounds really bad. Because it's un- unconditional. It's unconditional love. Like, I know, you know when unconditional, like, even, like, friendship is more unconditional than relationship. Your mm-hmm. friends will fuck with you if your breath smells, if you don't shower, 
if you're late, if you do things. A man will not. They're like, mm-hmm. you smell, you're late, you don't mm-hmm. hang out with me. They're, they bug. Your family will not do that. You could smell, your mom's not going to smell shit. Like, mm-hmm. you could do a bunch of stuff. You could yell at your mom. You could, like, even call her ugly. Shouldn't do that. But, like, let's just say you did. She would, like, probably forgive you. Mm-hmm. So, it, and right. with the man, there's issues. There's just issues. So I would choose my family. I mean, unless, like, for some reason, they're horrible and it's, like, it makes sense. I think that in the book, the, I don't know what book I'm talking about, but in the, the Bible? book, not that one, <laughs> in another one. In the book, by if you play by the book, I'm thinking casino wise. If you play by the book, your f- husband comes first. Oh, God. Right? This is like what everyone says, I think. Why I would think they that's say that? I think that's the normal answer, right? That your husband comes first. Yeah. Once you're married. Because you you know what they say in the vows, like, for for good or worse? Like, they ain't even think about death. <laughs> that's the American book. The Mexican book is not like that. Go go do the man with No, death, with the mom. Mexican book is tu esposo primero. But then if you date a man with mommy, you should be like, my mom say he don't like you. <laughs> been there, been there, been there. So uh, if you putting your mama, I'm going to put mama. Okay, too. yeah. Uh, oh, I would hate for my husband to be a mama's boy. I wouldn't like that. Depends. If I have an amazing, it's because I don't know. It, I always think I'm not going to end up with a husband. I always think I'm going to end up with a cat. So that's why I'm like, <laughs> why would I put you first? If I could, there's so many husbands. I could have endless husbands. I'm not going to have endless dads. I'm not going to have endless sisters or nieces. Only and on husbands, I can keep getting husbands. Yeah. It sounds really bad. I don't know. I guess if, what? okay, like if they take too much advice from their family, oh. where it's like messing up with with your situation. I don't think I even take advice from her. I thought it was more like, like if I had to choose where to live. Or, or they say what their mom t- says. Like, let's say their mom is like, no, like. My mom said you shouldn't do this. Yeah. Yeah. Like my mom doesn't like when you wear that shirt. I don't know. Something that I'm like, my mom said that she doesn't like. like oh, that and then he's like, yeah, you shouldn't. Because my mom said you should. And I'd be like, fuck you and your mama, but but <laughs> that's what I would do. Because I don't listen to my family. Like what I meant is like if he says we should move to Alaska because because it's chilling in Alaska, I'm not moving to Alaska because I want to be with my family. That's mm-hmm. what I kind of meant. Like I'll stay here, you can go, and then whatever. Mm-hmm. But I don't take advice from my family that much, so I don't think it would be a problem. I don't like my mom could tell me a billion things. Uh, my dad could tell me a billion things. I will not listen. So and I don't. Think what if he does? He tells me things about them. No, he does listen to their family. Oh, I'd be like, put you and your mama. <laughs> I swear, oh. I maybe not in the beginning, but eventually I will leave. I know myself. I can't stand those type of things. I've had arguments before, opposite actually, because the mom's like me too much. Mm-hmm. Where the mom's like me too much. And then I had this boyfriend who his mom wanted to leave the dad and that me and her would hang out. And then she'd be like, yeah, I'm thinking of leaving. And I would be like, you should, girl. And then she I, she would tell her, I don't know what she was telling him. And he'd be like, you're fucking annoying. Like, stop telling her stuff. I'm like, the fuck? I'm going to tell her. Your mom want to live. And I'm just going along with it. I've had the opposite problem. Yeah. But I don't know if I have if, would, if I would have the other problem. I'd be like, okay, if you love your mom so much, go tell your mom to go eat your ass and stay with her. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm going to give it a bug. Go listen to your mom and stay with your mom. Yeah. And go live with her. And you, could, you should go be her husband because you want to be with her so bad. Mm-hmm. Straight up. I don't, because I, that's, I feel like it's really intense, but it's true. I love my family, but I don't listen to what they say. Like, if my dad could tell mm-hmm. me, like, listen, I'm not doing it. Yeah, I wouldn't let my family get in the way of our, my relationship at all. Like, if my mom has something to say. That's why they say, like, don't even tell your family, like, what all of your problems. Except, obviously, if it's, like, really serious, like, abuse, things like that. Maybe you do have to tell others to receive help. But I think that, like, little petty arguments, maybe not tell the family. Because then they have a lot to say. And they care and, like, about you. Yeah, and, and they'll always side with you. So, like, they're going to start saying things. And it's going to get in your head. And you maybe start looking at your partner differently. So, I think maybe not say everything to your family. Because mm-hmm. they can get in the way a little bit. Family doesn't always know everything. No, and then just look at your family's, like, marriage history. Like, my mother has never been married. I'm like, you yeah. took a different man to your birthday dinner. And then yeah you have a boy like my mom is a funny woman i'm not really gonna listen to you and my dad the same yeah you're the same so i'm not listening to you guys if they maybe had a happily married they might be like okay you guys are coming from personal experience but you guys don't and also even if they did you don't know what works for me in my marriage and i I guess i would just want my man to you can listen to your his mom all he wants you can even kick it with her like do whatever he wants with her that i don't mind do whatever you want with her but don't bring her opinion into our relationship because she yeah and i'm like okay Go with your mom. Mm-hmm. Not doing that. Not doing that. Luckily, I've had really amazing soda. 
Mm-hmm. Luckily. Luckily. But if I don't, he know what I'm going to say. Go with yeah. you. One time I, oh, I'm not even going to read that. Up. This is irrelevant. We're a little bit like, my mom said. I'm like, well, okay, what your mom said. <laughs> Go what your mom said. I don't care. Because no, I don't yeah. care what my family says either. So why would I be with someone like yeah. that? Like, pish posh. Yeah, get out of here, buddy. And I've noticed that happens more with boys, huh? Boys love their mom. Yeah, boys love their mom. I get it. I love my mom, too. I have a really great, like, me and my mom, like, we're stuck like glue. But I'm still not going to listen to everything she says <laughs> just because she's my mom. <laughs> right. But, yeah. But, yeah, guys, we're going to wrap it up here just because it's getting late. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Tell us if you agree with this, if you disagree with us, if you think what we said is true, not true. Whatever you think, let us know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And, yeah, we'll see you guys in our next episode. Bye. Bye.